Right. This is going to be my first mock draft. I feel I should say I'm not... I I didn't watch much college football. I'm just going off what I know in my head right now. So, this isn't going to be a good... This is going to be terrible, right? I'm going to make the wrong choices. I guarantee it. But first of all, I know Trevor Lawrence. He's, got, he's coming to my Jacksonville Jaguars. If he doesn't, I will literally cry. There's there's no need to explain that pick. But now this is this gets early, interesting early here. Because we've got the New York Jets. Do they stick with Darnold or do they go with a new QB? And I have them not going with Dar- not going with a new QB and getting a new weapon in Jamar Chase. Right? It's a bit early for a receiver, but why not? Now we've got the now we've got uh oh my god Miami on the board and Justin Fields is there right they've got Justin Fields they don't really need an offensive lineman at the minute they could do was the defense bowling though so what do they go with do they go with a weapon in Jalen Waddle or do they go with a uh, or do they go offensive lineman Panay Sewell? but I've got them going with Jalen Waddle. He is my favorite receiver in the class. But I've gone with him to get a weapon for Jay, uh, for Tua Tungavailoa. So now you've got the Falcons, right? They're, they're, what are they going to go with? They've got an option. They've got Matt Ryan. He's on contract for, what, another two years? But they've got to pay him next year. So they can't cut him next year, right? So what do you do? I've got them going for a QB. Is it too high, though? I've got them going for Zach Wilson. I'm going to have him sort of sit behind Matt Ryan for a year next year. Then they'll see what we can, they do in the future. This one's an easy pick. You've got to protect your franchise guy in Joe Burrow. So we're going to go offensive tackle in Panay Sewell. That's an easy pick. That's what they need. So we've got the Eagles, who literally tanked in the middle of a game, picking next, right? So their defense needs help. What part of their defense is a different question. Because they have so many holes on that defensive front. My laptop is very slow. I don't feel like I can be blamed for this. But what do you do with the Eagles? You've got... It's saying you need... No, no. Do you get a weapon for Jalen Hurts? Are you even going to stick for Jalen Hurts? Do you take... I doubt they'll take Justin Fields. That's not the question here. Micah Parsons is available. So is Patrick Satan. But I'm going to have him go in with Micah Parsons. Too, he's too good a player to pass up at this point. So now we've got the Lions. They do need a bit. Do they stick with Matt Stafford is the question. And I don't think they do. I think they draft Justin Fields at number seven. Now you've got the Panthers, who again, just it's probably just going to be best player available. They don't need Carl Pitts that much. Their defense is still looking kind of shaky. So I think they're going to go Patrick Satan on the corner. It's just an easy pick for them. Now the Denver Broncos, what do they do? Get away, Tong. What do the Broncos do? Do they stick with... It's, it's too high to take Trey Lance, right? At number nine, you don't need to take Trey Lance. Oh, shut up, Tong. It's too high to take Trey Lance. I don't think they're going to take Trey Lance at this point. Especially with maybe, or do they? Because they've got Washington behind them. Or do they get their edge in Quitty Pay? Or Gregory Rousseau? No, they will. They will take Trey Lance at number nine. Wow, I've got a lot of quarterbacks going early. But but now we're on to the Cowboys. That's just sort of a tough year for them. There's not much they could do. They, 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 see this all... Shut up, Tong! There's no quarterbacks left on the board. So there's there, there's no chance. There, there's I mean, what? They've got Mac Jones. But there's, this is definitely not a Mac Jones spot. Shut up! Mate, I need to mute that in a minute. But they don't need Kyle Pitts. They do not... I swear to God. I'm going to just... Shut up. Snooze for an hour. Good. I just snoozed him. Shut up. Oh, my God. You're the most pain in the ass, man. 
I don't really know where to go with the Cowboys. They're sort of just... Receiver's definitely not a need for them. There's no way they take Devontae Smith. Hmm. I swear to God, shut up. He's the most pain in the fucking ass ever. I don't really want to go... I might go with the... This is a tough one, you know. Right, let's remember, I'm not smart when it comes to football. This is probably really easy for other people. But I'm just... Do they take... Do Marcus Lawrence replacement in Quitty Pay? You know what? Yeah, that's what I've got them doing. They're going to take Quitty Pay at number 10. So the Giants... I don't... Uh, they need defensive help, right? But they also need weapons for Daniel Jones. So they are definitely taking Devontae Smith at number 11. Uh, the 49ers have just been in a tough spot. I reckon in the second round, they're probably going to take... They were expecting the QBs to fall, but I've got the Lions taking a quarterback, surprisingly. So they're going to have to wait. I don't think they'll take Mac Jones now. Isn't it? It's a tough spot. I don't, they've got, I don't think they're going to take an insert. Do they really need, I don't know what they're going to do at this point. They've got, Richard Sherman's getting old, so I'm going to have them taking Caleb Farley. Sherman's only got a couple of years left in him. Now you've got arguably, what do you do to Justin Herbert? You've got him weapons. He's got a good enough defense. I'm going to give him an, a, Offensive lineman. And I think it's going to be Christian Darasaur. It's about the right spot for him. Of Virginia Tech. So now you got the Vikings. Breakout year. A great year for Justin Jefferson, obviously. But what do they need? Their defense is a bit of an issue. Their offensive line their offense is good enough at the minute, right? So you, you gotta go defense with them. And what do they really take? There's not really a safety a safety worth taking at this point, is there? Yeah, Trayvon Murray. There's never there's no need to take him now. Just don't really There's not much on here. You don't really need as much of anything at this point. So I'm actually I don't know what to do for these guys. Do they do they won't go best player available? I don't think they'll take Carl Pitts. They don't need Carl Pitts. I might go with Gregory Rousseau out of Miami. Bit more of an edge threat. Did have Yannick and Garkway traded him away like instantly. Now Carl Pitts is an easy choice for me. Patriots love a good tight end. He's a very good one. Now we've got the Arizona Cardinals. Offensively, they're stable. So I think this is a spot for JC Horn. Out to the Vegas Raiders. They've got They've got a few issues. They have offensive playmakers. They have Josh Jacobs. Oh my god, why can I not remember who they drafted? They have Josh Jacobs and they have Oh, what's his name? Oh, this is actually killing me. Why could I not think? Wide receiver. It's not CD Lamb. It's not. Oh my God! There was a group of three that went in a row, and I cannot remember. <sighs> Why can I not remember? Oh my God! CD Lamb. I was literally watching the guy who played for the Broncos yesterday. I have a terrible memory if you don't know that already. So this is this is why this is very hard for me. Why can I not think? He's such a good player. Henry Ruggs. They took Henry Ruggs in the draft like first round last year, so they're not going to go with the receiver. The defense is a bit of an issue. So I think they're going to go Jeremiah, uh, 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 Jeremiah Awusu. I cannot say his last name. 
but Dolphins had their second pick and it's actually their pick. And here I think they go with a bit of protection. Do they? Yeah. Rashawn Slater, get to a, as much protection as you can. Now you're on to Washington, right? They need a quarterback. There's not one here. Do they reach and take Mac Jones or Carl Trask? Or do they wait for him in the second round? I think they wait for them in the second round. And they... They've got enough... The defense is an absolute uh, balling, right? So if you... you can, There's a lot they need here. Do they take Rashad Bateman? Not really. Not at this point. Maybe they don't need Travis Etienne. They're going to take Jalen Mayfield offensive tackle just in case you do end up stuck with Alex Smith for a few games. You do not want him getting injured because he's had a tough time already. So now we're on to the Bears. They need a quarterback. But again, not really one on the board that they were willing to take. They, they're they looking stable at the minute. They need an offense. Who they take I don't know. They've got Alan Robinson as a weapon. Have they got much outside of him? Not really. So this is a spot where I see Rashad Bateman going. Then the Jags. Right, so you've just got Trevor Lawrence. So you're thinking, right, let's get... the, the Your offensive line hasn't been great this year. What do we do? We are going to go... Hang on, got a message. We are going to go offensive tackle in Liam Eichenberg. He's pretty much the best tackle available. Keep Trevor Lawrence up safe. Now you're on to the Colts. Colts, their running game's been all right. Last night, uh, oh, bollocks. It wasn't Hines. It was like Taylor or something. Can't remember his name. I'm not good with memory. But he blew he blew us away. He blew away the Jags, like 200 yards. So they, they, they look pretty safe there. The defense is bowling, right? But you don't really need any more offensive weapons at this moment in time. So you can get some help on the defense. And I think you go Joseph Asai. Pretty much best player available. Travis Etienne. Just not really a spot for him. Cleveland Browns. They could do with a bit more help on that interior offensive line to make the holes for Nick Chubb. So we're going to go with Elijah Vera Tucker. Then you got Tennessee Titans. Obviously, don't need a running back. But we will go. Watch them. They look fine in the receiving core. They're fine. Their their offensive line hasn't looked overly great. Hang on one second. The defensive line has not looked overly great this year. Defensive line, offensive line. But their defense has been the biggest issue. So we are going to go with Saving Collins out of Tulsa. No. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, I will. Get get some help. No, they're, they're struggling with sacks. You need somebody to get in there. Who's the guy who's going to have to do it for you? Because the, the, defense, just put, the defense is just struggling at the point. They had a great game last night as well against Houston. But now it's the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. They need a running back. This is a spot for Travis Etienne. He's fallen down the board to you. He's landed in your lap. You've got Leonard Fournette and you've got... uh Oh, my God. No, I'm remembering his name. He's in every free agency in Madden 21, Madden NFL. Surely. Oh, my God. I can... 8-4 rated, no dev trait. Why? I just can't think of his name. Rojo. Ronald Jones the second. that's it. He's not really your guy. Travis Etienne will do it for you. I think you're fine there. Defense, you need some wide receivers in Baltimore. Terrence, Terrence Marshall is your guy. And now the Jets, they took a wide receiver with their first pick. And they could do with a running back. Najee Harris goes off the board here. So two running backs go quickly there. Now you've got the Steelers. The absolute choke artists. 
you got Big Ben, right? He's an old quarterback. You're not going to draft a quarterback here. So you take Sam Cosby. You need to keep him up straight. You need to keep him right. You, you, your offensive line's not looked great this year. So you go there. Now, the the Saints, they also need a quarterback. But they they can't really... There's nobody who's going to be on the board ready for them. Nobody they need to take here unless they reach massively for Mac Jones or Kyle Trask. And I just don't see them doing that. Just to sit behind them. So, I have them... I'm probably going to have them take... Eric Stokes out of Georgia. I haven't really seen him play, to be honest. I'm just going off a few things here. The Bills. The Bills have looked good defensively, man. They've looked unreal everywhere. But what would they take? What do they need? They don't really need anything. They've got Stefan Diggs. They could do with some... Defensive is the help. They've got a tough linebacking core. So we'll have them take Nick Bolton. And the Green Bay Packers, you know what, yeah, just to keep the Packers fans happy, have Kadarius, Tony. Your team's looked good. You need to get Aaron Rodgers more than just Devontae Adams as a weapon. And the Chiefs, right? Receiver. Varying on contracts this year, you may need to take a receiver, but I don't think they will. I think you go offensive line here with Creed Humphrey. And that is it. So that is my mock draft. Shut up, man. That is my mock draft. I I need to state this clearly. I'm not good at this. I'm not smart when it comes to this. I've not watched as much college football this year because it's very difficult to watch it here in England. So this is uh, this is what I've gone with. Uh, if if you want to try and teach me something, leave something in the comments. Beyond that, I think this is it. I just hope Jags take Trevor Lawrence. So, yeah, 